guys, it's me, Beast here, and today I'm going to be showing you a how to record your PC gameplay with using the Elgato device. So as you can see, this is my desktop, one of my monitors, and right now Elgato is recording my monitor. I'm going to show you guys real quick what you have to do to your Elgato to make it do that. This is the first step of getting it. Alright, there's 20 million wires back here, hopefully you guys can see, but what the cable you need to plug in is your HDMI. You gotta plug in your HDMI cable into the back of your graphics card. If your graphics card does not have HDMI uh, capabilities, then this is not gonna work. So, you get one end of the HDMI connected to the back of your graphics card. My graphics card is a GTX 670, so it has HD, um, I mean, uh, HDMI component cables. Uh, cables so there it is you want to plug the other end of it the one that you just plugged into your computer plug the other end of that cable into the HDMI come on focus camera into the HDMI in and then you don't need another cable on the end because you have hopefully you have the monitors already connected to your computer and that's the only thing that matters so what you're gonna go ahead and do is plug in the USB cable into your computer and that's all so now I have to show you guys what to do on the computer side of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. Alright guys, it's me Beast here again and I'm right now on my computer and as you can see we have Elgato already recording on my uh, desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this because what you need to do to make this pop up is, well first open up your Game Capture HD program and you're going to go ahead and click on the little tools thing right here, show device settings. Go ahead and click on that and you're going to be brought up with this Game Capture HD settings. Uh, you want to change your input device to other and then that should already be enough. Um, but you're still probably not going to get your desktop yet. If you have two monitors this isn't going to be hard but if you have one monitor it's kind of easy. So uh, go ahead leave it to other input HDMI, uh, profile HD 720, preferred for, uh, source format, just anything. The only thing you need to do here is change for input device to other. That's the only thing you need to do. So go ahead and click OK. I already did that. And then step two is to right click on your desktop, go to screen resolution. And then since I have two monitors, I have uh, three. Because right now what Elgato is doing, pretending to do, is that since my graphics card has three outputs, it has two uh, VGAs and one HDMI. The two VGAs are used and right now I have the third connected to the HDMI. So right now my computer thinks I have three monitors running. But if you have one monitor, it's fine. So the only thing you need to do is click on your main monitor. And you need to go to display. Go ahead and click down on the uh, mul multiple displays. Sorry. Go ahead and click on this one. And you're going to click on duplicate desktop 1 and 2. Go ahead and click on that. Then go ahead and click apply and then your computer is going to go, it's going to like, the monitors are going to shut off and on and then it's going to, it's basically going to merge Elgato to the number one screen and then we become the same screen. So you're going to go ahead and click OK and it, it should be uh, one and two like this one right here. So go ahead and click OK. And then once you open up your Elgato program, it should pop up with your monitor like it is right now. And other uh, problems people seem to have is that they don't get uh, audio. So I'm going to show you guys how to get audio in this video as well. So what you need to do is go to your little speaker things down here. Go ahead and click on right click on it. Go to recording devices. Then it's going to pop up with this. Uh, where is it? Go ahead and go to stereo mix. Right click on it. Go to properties. Go all the way to listen. Uh, drop down to make sure you click you click on listen to this device go ahead and click on Elgato 1 find it right there click OK and you're good so now it's going to record the Elgato device as well whenever you're playing through the computer if you don't have stereo mix it's either because your motherboard doesn't have it or you don't have it enabled if you don't have it enabled the only thing you need to do is go to go back to recording devices Go ahead and right click on this and click on show disabled devices and show dis disconnected devices. Show the disabled devices most likely will get you stereo mix but if not I will show you guys how um, I'll leave a link in the description on how to get stereo mix. It's not hard. So once that is done you should be able to live stream, uh, not live stream, uh, uh, capture PC gameplay. So I'm going to go ahead and run a game but right before I do that I need to show you guys one thing. 
you need you see where your speaker thing is right now if I were to record you would get I would get this terrible echo playing through my computer and through my speakers but I don't want to get that terrible echo uh, so you're gonna go ahead and go to your speakers click on mixer and then you're gonna scroll down until you find game capture HD go ahead and mute that it's it's not gonna mute the recording what it's gonna mute is the program uh, outputting the the outputting the volume to your speakers so then it's only so the only thing you hear is the game volume which is the only thing you want to hear so I'm gonna go ahead and run a quick game real quick let me go ahead and click on, on uh... let's see I'll just do some I'll just run a quick game with Black Ops 2 multiplayer let me go ahead and pull up my program and click on record go ahead and start recording right now so we're gonna go to Black Ops 2 play alright now it should be loading um, my screen recorder isn't going to get this, but I know if, uh, Elgato will, so whenever Elgato gets it, I'll go ahead and switch over to that. If it'll load. My computers have been a bit slow these days. There we go. As you can see, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 just popped up. Okay, as you can see, you have Black Ops 2 right now. So let me go to options. Uh, just mess around with the options. I have to do this every time. Go ahead and click on window. I have to do this every time I play. So you're you're not gonna have to do this. Whoops, 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 whoops. My computer does this from time to time. It's it can get very very annoying. Just because it's Steam. Click OK. Don't worry, you you guys don't have to do this. Let me go ahead and pull this back. Okay, full screen. Apply. Yes. Okay, so this is uh, Elgato won't do. Uh, it won't have any lag. You're not gonna have any lag. Your computer isn't gonna run any slower. But if you use Fraps, you will. All right. So as you can see, I have this running. Computers, computers are gonna be running a little bit laggy because I have two recording programs right now. The one that's recording my screen and the computer. But as you can see, the game is recording just fine. So, just something really quick. Not showing off any skill or anything, as you can see, I'm dying. I'm just trying to show you guys that this does work. Securing Bravo. Securing Bravo. Sticky, all right, there we go. That's all you guys need to see. So, hopefully, this video helped you guys. And if you would leave a rating and go ahead and share it with everybody that you know who has an Elgato device and was wondering how to record with PC stuff. So, if this helped you guys, please leave a rating, and as always, have a nice day. Leave a comment if you need any help.